Now, moving on, talk to us about like personalize your messages. Okay, so this is um, this is where we met, Kazi. <laughs> oh, this is actually holy crap! This is actually your real message to me, the first one. Actual first one. Yep, yep. There was a kind of um, a little proposal that goes with it, but this was the cover letter. So this is what I sent to try and stand out when I saw your your jo the job application. And now you have been <laughs> working with ago. us for what two point uh, first yeah. ever message. Uh, and now this is so cool. This is so cool, you guys. Like the fact that and now she's been working with us for two and a half years at CP. That's insane. Like that is one of the coolest things. I mean, nobody I've never seen a training like this. Like this is so cool <laughs> that we can talk about this. That's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, that is but insane. Go ahead. Hopefully Go ahead. that kind of speaks to how much power there is in um, just really putting some effort into the right kind of job application or whatever whatever way that you're reaching out to people putting yeah. some thought into it doing your research on who the other person is um really taking your time and especially on platforms like upwork you see a lot of copy and pastes yes you know oh my like god people just oof, <laughs> they just apply for this every all these jobs with the same thing it doesn't speak to the, your own application to the skills to the character whereas yeah. if you can just take that time to really um really hone in on what they're asking for yeah. Um, Cause I mean, all, all the all the time. To your point, I would get these like garbage messages on Upwork, and just like, "Hey, really interesting project you have there. I could definitely help you." And then blah blah. And I'm like, "That's your what hundred and fourth copy paste of the day, you know?" <laughs> yeah. Um, and so when I saw a message like yours, it was extremely refreshing to see somebody who actually read what we had written and wrote specifically for that. So like what Rachel is saying is like, guys, stop using canned messages when you reach out to these platforms. It's not a game of volume. It's a game of like reaching out with quality. Yeah, yeah, oh, totally, right? totally. Um, and I wanna even read out your message because I think it's really important. You guys could even use this as a template. So Rachel reached out and she said, hi there, and she goes, I really enjoyed reading your job posting and it would be awesome to chat with you about whether I'd be a good fit for the role. Honestly, when I read this, I thought it was like a scan message, probably, you know, most likely, because that's what I got from a lot of people. But then this is where it got interesting. She said, I love problem solving and getting tech tools to work together. My background is 10 years in accountancy and admin, but six months ago, I transitioned to a VA tech and my ideal work is in problem solving. So here, she said problem solving, love problem solving. In my initial job posting, I had mentioned problem solving multiple times. Mm, yeah, I think yeah. I've popped the post a little further down as well, Kazi, so it's okay. there in case you... Oh yeah, that's awesome. Mm. We can actually take a look at that too. Um, oh wow, even Amanat is, he's like, um, he's, this letter is amazing. I've never thought of writing a letter like that. Finally wishing them good, this is awesome. <laughs> So here, um, so I've got experience in lead pages and various email webinar payment core systems, these specific systems we were talking about, but not Kajabi. And this is honestly one of those things that kind of just like hits you in the heart. Like this was one of the things where I'm like, not only do we not have somebody who's possibly really good at it, but the fact that she says openly she doesn't know Kajabi and not like some bullshit wishy-washy answer, like literally she's like, not Kajabi. That is huge, because already I can tell so much about her character and integrity. And I wanna work with somebody on the team who has character and integrity. I don't wanna work with people who put politics above everything else, right? So going on, and she goes, yet yeah, I'm really keen to learn all of these systems, so that's important to me that she's very flexible. And so would be very happy in my element, in fact, to learn them quickly and on my own time. Like that is just beautifully written. It's like somebody's dream to have somebody like that working on their team where they're like, hey, I would I don't know them. This is actually funny, right? Because at the start of this video, that's what I said. If you don't know it, just say it and say, I'll be able to willing to learn later. Literally yep. what you say here. And um, 
we have messages that are like joseph says uh, this is a working template nice one rachel uh, oshia says rachel's letter is perfect it's brief specific and detailed really good job so uh, lucy says this is so useful Hassan says eloquent amazing job says amanath abdullah says yeah rachel amazing job no oh, thanks guys <laughs> Yeah, seriously, it's actually really amazing. And then she goes, I love research and have found some great resources so I can quickly get familiar with them. I pride myself in being proactive, a strong communicator, and a great team player. Honestly, this statement, I trust. If anybody else says it, I would just ignore it. But, like, do you guys know what makes me want to trust this statement more? Like, what, out of this entire thing, what was it that makes me actually trust this statement more? And if you want to guess, drop it in the comments below. But for me, it was actually this statement where she just openly is so honest and willing to say, I don't know Kajabi. And then when you say you pride yourself in being a strong communicator and great team player, I trust you. See what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, yeah. Like, because I'm like, okay, I, she, why would you say that? If you were somebody who were just lying, you know, because you literally went out of your way to say you didn't know something. Yeah, yeah. Um, Abdullah says, amazing tips. Thanks for the advice. Suresh says, this is nice. Um, we have everything. iPad Pro says, the way she writes is just beautiful. Yeah. Minik says, I've never thought of writing such a thing. This is awesome. Yep. And then she even goes on to say, look forward to hearing from you if you'd like to discuss more and best of luck with finding someone awesome. I mean, who goes out of their way to even encourage you and be happy for you to find somebody else? That's awesome. Ending on such a positive note is another huge thing. Everything iPad Pro says, Rachel is an independent and strong woman and uh, she's proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm going to read, I think Amanat had a really nice message to this. And he says, he said, the letter is amazing. I've never thought of writing such a letter. Finally wishing them. And, and she, he goes, you finally wishing somebody good luck and finding that is this seriously shows the mindset of Rachel. So, <laughs> so that's, yeah, so that's huge because it shows mm where her mindset is and this is the letter that like resulted in i don't know fifty thousand dollars and more like i don't know i don't even know at this point how uh, where we're at but like this is literally has led to over a fifty thousand dollar transaction and probably we're gonna work till many many more years like we uh, like literally i would love to have rachel on the team for the next three five ten years on Clever Programmer, and it all came from right here. So it doesn't really get any more real than this. Yep. Pretty crazy. That's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. You never thought one day your letter that you were gonna write was gonna be like broadcasted to thousands <laughs> of people. No, I really didn't. <laughs> oh man, I think you're right. You're right. It just so shows the power of taking that time taking that time to really stop, um, stop, think, put yourself in the other person's shoes as to what they're looking for. And, yep. and like, like we were talking about to put yourself in the right state when you're, when you're approaching it as well, you know, yep. put, make sure you're in that positive place where you can write it with like all of the enthusiasm and best intentions. And then, you know, let yep. go. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, John Ford says, Rachel is a true professional, her work, her Insta profile and this letter now, Everything speaks about how cool and good at her work she is. Simply amazing. Be like Rachel. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, and O'Shea says, it takes just one good letter to change your life. Mm, yep. And uh, Kringet says, nice message. It's awesome. The whole thing, especially about being honest. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, this is something that's really valuable. If you guys want to take a screenshot of this before we move on, go ahead and do that. It'll give you kind of like a template, but again, her whole point is personalized. Yeah. Yeah, you know? totally. But even within personalization, this is a good template to kind of work off of. Uh, so what else, Rachel, before we move on to the next slide? 
Yeah, I'd say, um, obviously I'm talking about how important personalizing is, but there's a little note there about um, a swipe file. And by that, what I mean is not copy and pasting, um, the same thing to every job, but just having a couple of notes. Um, if, you know, if you're doing a lot of outreach, yeah. um, and you're reaching out to quite a few people that you're really interested in, just having a little kind of swipe file of phrases that explain your skills that you can steal word in from so you don't put too much mental energy into that that's unnecessary. I think that's something that's quite handy too. Yep, 100%. So definitely use have those handy so then you can use them as reference and then grow, um, like leverage them to be, be able to write. But guys, yeah, this is something that's really important. It shows you it's not so much pray and spray and just like reach out to 5,000 locations. You can, if you spend more time and you reach out with precision, your success rate, honestly, is gonna be much higher. Don't overthink it as well. Like, don't spend three hours on a message, but if you just spend 15 minutes and or 10 minutes personalizing, write it and move on, that would be really good. Yep. Awesome. So, Asad Ali says, I'm about to start my first freelancing job. This is really helpful. You guys deserve a lot. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tamir, Tamirlan says, Rachel, I would want you to teach me writing true and very like detailed messages like these. That's cool. How to have a chat with you. Awesome. Okay, so let's keep it moving. So let's go on to the next one. And uh, this was the actual job posting, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. So this is the job just, posting. Go ahead. I was just going to say we just cut it up. So, yep, that's it. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, this is the posting, guys. This is part, like, this is, you know, the first part of it. This is the second part of it. It's the same posting, but yeah, we just cut it up so it's all on the same page. But, like, uh, my main thing we were looking for was people who knew about all these technologies. Kajabi, Drip, ClickFunnels, SamCart, WebinarJam, Zapier. But I said, like, we need someone who can manage these systems, understand how they work, and be able to do it. And um, I wrote some specific things, like, you should be able to understand what we mean when we say X, Y, Z. And if you don't know this, you'd love to research it until you understand how it works and can put it together. So, you know, going back, and here I mentioned Kajabi, and going back to what Rachel said, she said in her message that she doesn't know Kajabi, but she's willing to learn it, right? And so she also understood, like, where I was coming from, and then she mentioned that, and she said I'd be willing to learn, so it matches up to kind of what we were looking for. And we said the right person will be confident in his his slash her intuition to figure out figure it out and get the job done correctly. You may not know every platform, but this is a type of work that makes you feel invincible and you are smart enough to figure it out. And definitely when I spoke with Rachel, she already knew a lot of things and what she didn't know, she said she would be willing to learn. And then when I went on her social media, on her Facebook, it confirmed with me she, that she wasn't just saying words to say whatever she needed to say to get a job. She was backing it up with her actions. And I could see three months ago, she was like posting about going down rabbit holes and learning about technology. Mm, yeah. So that was huge. Mm. Cool. Go ahead. I remember also with that, Kazi, right at the end of the requirements, um, and it said you wanted a minimum of two plus years hands-on administrative support experience. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, and I know things like that would sometimes put people off with the specifics. Oh but... yeah, that was just complete bullshit. Like I don't even know what mm. that meant. <laughs> I just put that. I had no idea what that even meant. I don't even. What is administrative support? I have. I had no idea. Well, go exactly. Ahead. So it's always it's always worth it's always worth applying to something if you read it and you think yes. And you connect, you know, even if there's something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, it also goes to show you that, like, and you didn't have that, right? Just to be clear, you didn't have two plus years of hands-on. How much did you have? Um, I think, gosh, six months to a year, maybe, at that yeah. point. Yeah. So, so, basically, another thing, like, don't say no for the other person. Mm, yeah. So like yeah, she, she could have easily just said, oh, I don't have two years of experience. I'm not gonna apply for this. But she just like, she, she applied for it anyway. And it turns out that I was an idiot and I didn't even know what the hell I was looking for. And I just put some random stuff in requirements. 
And a lot of people who are looking, like a lot of people who are actually posting these jobs from the HR department, they even have no idea what the specs are. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I think you so, put it so well there, not saying no for them. <laughs> yeah, so don't say no for them. Apply anyway intelligently and don't don't have those weird things put you off, you know? Like um, I saw this one post where the developer of the React.js library or something along those lines, something really massive, got rejected from a job and um, because they wanted like 10 years of experience. And he says, I have five years of experience or something along those lines. And they're like, sorry, we need somebody with 10. And then he made a tweet and he says, well, I got rejected from a job, but he goes, I wrote the React.js library and it's only been out for five years. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So I was like, oh, wow. So somebody can correct me in the chat below. It's not really React and it's not the same time frame, but the point is similar. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's crazy, but yeah. All right, moving on. So what is going on here with this guy? No, uh, this, this guy is hiding from video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I think the, the one thing, the other one thing I'd maybe do a little differently now um, if I was kind of actively looking up on Upwork right now is I would add in video. I so, see. and in addition to, cause people like different platforms in addition to that written, um, message that I sent, I would probably make a really short video just so that you can really <laughs> connect with the other person cause video is so powerful. Game changer. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. I think if you hop to the next one, Kazi, um, yep. we're just talking about loom there. Um, and I mean, even when you're working with clients, like there's an example there, um, this is Loom, if, if anybody hasn't used it before, it's a free so, tool. Yep, and here's your face, this is a video, here's her face talking over it, and then she's sharing her screen, but keep going, Rachel. Yeah, yeah, exactly, this is me talking about something in one of our systems in Kajabi, but yeah, I mean, even once you're working with clients, this could be so powerful just to kind of catch up, especially if you're on different time zones and things, but in the outreach phase, um, so so good for for them to really get a feel for you um and i mean i've i can imagine that you would do this like if i was say researching clever programmer let's talk about clever programmer again you could be on the clever programmer website you could have that with the screen shared you could show what you were finding um talk over it and yeah bit of video is so powerful so i would just get comfortable with that um yep. and with something like loom i mean you can even start by practicing if if video is something that is really um, terrifying to you, um, you could just take baby steps. Um, yeah. you, you've got things like Instagram stories, you can use loom and you can just make videos for yourself and just steadily get used to seeing yourself on the camera. Um, and then by the time that you're in a position where you're working with clients and you've got video calls, it's, it's just second nature. Yep, exactly. I mean, I tried to start loom, but I think my camera is being used up by mm. another device. <laughs> So it's only like a yellow little mark here. Actually, let me, yeah, let me end it right now. But you you guys won't get a yellow mark like this. What will happen is Loom will record your screen. So here, I just record it for just a few seconds and you'll see it already created a link and the video is online. So if you guys actually went to this link right here, you'd be able to see this exact video. I can even drop it in the chat and uh, I mean, it's not a very awesome video, but you get the point, the fact that I was able to make a video in like a second and then boom, it's up. So what Rachel is saying is she would now actually make a video talking about what the client is looking for and then send that directly through Upwork and that will crush. If I had seen a video from you, I would be like, it's game over. Mm. Like I would just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would probably skip the interview. <laughs> that's it it just gives you that so much extra connection doesn't it there's so much you can get from a video yep as an extra tool exactly so let's let me go full screen this huge tool all right so keep going rachel and if you want me to move on to the next one i can do that too yeah sure let's um let's scoot down to the next one all right let's do it and Amanat says, seriously, the years of experience doesn't matter. If you have the skills, then that's it. Most people are afraid to apply for jobs when they see that years of experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All right. so true, 